Now we're good. There we go. Now there we go. go. All right, now go ahead, Gary. Okay, hold on. So, so Michael, Tajay was doing his thing, and the announcer during the TV said that Tulane should shouldn't throw anymore and should just stick to the ground because that was what was working. And then the next three plays, all completions right down the field for, for, for a touchdown. How many different ways do you feel like you guys can, can beat teams now? Yeah. I mean, I think, I think one of the biggest things is the depth that we have at every position. Um, I think we have a lot of talent all across the board. Um, and, you know, that's something that we emphasize to get a lot of different guys in. Um, so it's been, it's been really good to see, you know, offensive line, you know, blocking their butts off. They've been doing a great job all year, all year round. Um, running backs. I think we got a couple of really good backs. Um, and, you know, obviously you saw what Taja did tonight. Uh, we got Ivy, Shoddy. Um, they've been doing tremendous the whole season. And, you know, when we can run the ball effectively, that opens up everything else. And, you know, we got guys that can win one on one and uh, make great plays like you guys saw. You had a career high in passing for the second straight week with 329 yards, a lot of chunk plays, big, mm -hmm. big plays. Just what was working best for you guys? Yeah, um, I mean, I, I, we knew what they were going to do defensively. Um, they did a couple, couple different things that we weren't expecting them to do as much. Um, but the plays that, you know, what we saw pre-snap, um, you know, had great calls. Coach Bowden, Coach Nagel, all those guys did a great job of um, calling plays today. Um, we got them in the right position. We made plays. Mm -hmm. um, how big was that touchdown pass to Deuce right before before the half? You, you had just enough time for that exact play, and and you made you threw it up where he could catch it, and he made a great catch. Yeah, no, uh, that, that was huge, uh, especially going into the half. I'm pretty sure that was to regain the lead. Um, you know, so th those are the kind of plays that we got to make. Uh, you know, offensive line did a great job picking up a blitz, um, and you know, I just you know threw the ball out there and let him make a play, and he came down with it. Um. Did you know about the rule about intentional grounding that it was an automatic 10 second <laughs> runoff there at the um, without unless you call the timeout? <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, I I think I just threw it a little too hard uh, yeah. out of bounds. <laughs> yeah. Um, what does it say about this team? You're finding different ways to win. Um, the defense had been sensational the first six games. They made some big plays today, but they gave up a, a, a little bit more and you guys still won by two touchdowns. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's been awesome. Um, you know, like you said, the defense has played tremendous the whole course of the season. Um, and, you know, there's going to be games that, you know, it's going to be a shootout. Teams are going to score. Um, and I think the offense did a good job of, uh, you know, kind of stepping up today. I think the defense is, you know, I, I'd say they'd almost been carrying us a little throughout the course of the season um, and, you know, kind of got to a shootout for a little there and, uh, you know, how to keep our foot on the gas and, you know, keep pushing through. And that's what we did. What did Ty J say before his run and after his run, the 75 yard touch? <laughs> you know, we, we communicate uh, on every play. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he just, you know, the things we talk about, you know, great mesh, great handoff, um, mm -hmm. great play fake on everything. You know, he told me, he's, let's get a great mesh here, great read. And, uh, you know, I handed it to him and he made it really easy on me and the uh, rest of the team. So, uh, you know, that was exciting to see. And then, you know, that's just, that's just what Tajay does. Yeah. You're, you're six and one. This is actually the earliest Tulane's ever had six wins in a season. Your, your goals are way more than just becoming bowl eligible, but how significant is it to get there this early after what, after last year? Yeah, no, uh, it's super exciting. Um, especially coming off last year and, you know, the adversity that we faced. Um, but you know, what coach Fritz has been emphasizing, you know, since the beginning of the season is just being one and oh each week. And, uh, you know, we just got to continue to stack on that success and keep it up. Will you be looking when the polls come out tomorrow? It's you you may or may not be in the top 25. Just what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, I mean, like I said, those are those aren't the things that we're necessarily worried about. Um, you know, like I said, we just want to be one or no each week. And you know, the rest of that exterior stuff will take care of itself. Yeah. You've got a lot of tough games coming up against teams that have been to the conference championship game a lot in the past. And that's where you you guys want to get your you're, you're three and oh in the league. Is that the most important stat to you right now in terms of getting to that? conference championship yeah no doubt I mean you know same thing you know we got to be one and oh each week um you know we got a tough opponent next week in Memphis so you know we're gonna we're gonna celebrate this win for the next 24 hours we're gonna get up there tomorrow we're gonna watch some film and start breaking down Memphis uh we're gonna try to fix up the little things that we messed up on today and uh you know we're gonna continue rolling how valuable is Tyreek James for this offense uh he's been awesome um I think more than just a player, uh, I think his leadership, um, his vocal leadership and leading by example, um, he's helped a lot of guys step up. Um, and, you know, just the plays that he makes on the field, you know, he did a, did a great job today. I had a couple of really big catches. Um, you know, I think just having that um, experience and um, being able to make those plays is huge and gives, you know, all the guys a lot of confidence. 
you came up after one play holding your arm a little, little bit after you got a hard hit. And then the next play you took off for probably your longest <laughs> run of the, of the day. I assume you were fine. There. Yep, I'm feeling great. All right, Gary, we're going to have to stop there, man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Good game.